Knoxville woman and mother of two has been without food stamp benefits since August, and she is desperate. The state called her earlier this month, saying her benefits were approved, but that was two weeks ago. Six on your side, consumer investigator Don Dare talked with Sierra Wingo today. Don? Well, Bo, Mrs. Wingo is like thousands of other food stamp recipients who have had their benefits cut off. Back in the summer of 2023, the state moved on from a 32-year-old system for processing SNAP applications to an updated modern program which required extensive training for staff. As a result, there's been a backlog of applications ever since. At one time, up to 35,000 were without food stamps, according to the State Human Services Office. Today, an effort is being made to catch up by getting benefits into the hands of people who need them. I have my balloon with me. Sierra Wingo has her hands full with a three-month-old daughter and a seven-year-old daughter. The 29-year-old stay-at-home mom is one of thousands of recipients without food stamps across the state. She was due to recertify last August, but never received a notification after being qualified for years. Her SNAP benefits card has been empty since the beginning of September. It's been rough. We've had to ask other people for help. Um, and we just had a baby, so it's been really rough. If it wasn't for some of our family and friends, honestly, I don't know what we would have done. Mrs. Wingo and her husband, he does have a job, qualify for food stamps due to their low income. Have you been down to the office here in Knoxville? Several times. More than 10, I'm pretty sure. Five times I did an application. Five times? Yes. In December, Human Services sent this letter, setting up a call to process Mrs. Wingo's benefits. It says that I had an interview, a telephone interview on the 28th of December, and they never called. And you were here at home with your baby? Yes. Waiting? Yes. No call? No. Finally, she received that long-awaited phone call. So earlier this month, you do a phone interview, and, and what are you told? I am told that I have been accepted. Um, and I should receive my food stamps within 24 to 48 hours. It's been a lot longer than 48 hours. Yes, I thought we were getting them. Yet here it is the 21st of February and still no food stamps. Still no food stamps and still no answers. Heather Hensley and her mother Roxy told us a similar story about their food stamps two weeks ago. They expected a call from Human Services in January regarding their certification. No one has ever called me. Since then, I have been back four times over there. It's been hard not having anything, not having to go to food pantries. Several days after our interview, Roxy and Heather's benefits were restored. And we've got to do better. State Senator Becky Duncan Massey says the state is working to improve its response time to help people like Sierra and others receive their SNAP benefits. It was Mrs. Wingo who called the senator's office the other day asking for help. Well, I was trying to reach Sierra Wingo. A human services representative got in touch with Sierra during our visit. Someone told me at the DHS office here that the supervisor had my application or something like that, so I've not been able to get any help. But the representative from Nashville was able to help. Sierra's benefits have been approved. I think it's about time <laughs> something's finally getting done. Her SNAP benefits card will be filled soon. And the representative from the Human Services Department was on the phone with Sierra for 30 minutes. And tonight, Sierra is relieved that this long ordeal is over. Mrs. Wingo was told her card will likely be filled by tomorrow and it will be backdated from when she was cut off. Still, thousands of other qualified recipients continue to wait for their call from the benefits office. Bo? Don, thank you. And if you have a consumer question for Don, take a moment, send him an email at ddarrettwat.com or give him a call, 865-633-6923.